over 90 years ago, a guy called Cecil Kimber started a brand called MG. Now, MG stands for Morris Garage. The one we are going to drive today is an early 70s MGB GT, which is totally restored and looks absolutely beautiful. George, wow. gotta go to that end. No. <laughs> I fell off the table, don't ask you, don't ask. <laughs> well, the MG is made in England and it doesn't get much more English than a beef and stout pie. And you know the MGs were made in Birmingham. And you know that the best rock bands in the world come from Birmingham. I'll do some head banging while you bribe. I like it, I like it. Well, let's get this fire started. Okay. Soundtrack water. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's go. go. Let's do it. To start this pie, we're going to slice up some onions, brown them up. We're going to add the meat, brown that meat as well. Do the veggies, mix it all together. A quick splash of Dawn's famous homemade garlic and olive oil mix. The meat is in. Give it a quick bit of a spice. We're going to brown that and then we're going to take it off. We don't want to overcook that meat, so just lightly brown on the outside. We're going to scratch open some coals. We need a nice low heat. Add the stout, add the veggies, and that's going to take about an hour or so on a nice low heat. And here I come with the MGB GT. Perfect timing. All sports cars are going up in value, so it doesn't really matter what you have, it will become worth more money. Yeah. Okay, so the question is, would you buy one of these? Well, not now. Back in the day, yes, definitely. And even Sharon Stone had one. You know Sharon Stone? Yeah. The I know Sharon Stone. The Lego with The Lego with you. Now this is what I call fun for a Friday afternoon. Last thing to do, get the pastry on there, fill it up, on the fire, 20 minutes and we're ready. We, we, yeah, we rock Birmingham. <laughs> Give me 20 more minutes and we're good to go. Okay, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this with normal people, so I'll see you later. <laughs> normal people, <laughs> screw you. And it all comes together with a stout, bright pie. One quick glass layer of spinach, just to seal the other side. Nice little optional extra. Take an egg, crack it up, whisk it together, paint it over your briar pie. Gives it that nice, golden, crispy texture. Beautiful. Medium to low heat, 20 minutes, turning it frequently. It's not a steak, guys. Remember, this is a briar pie. That's exactly what we're looking for. Golden, crispy, and hollow to the tap. This is very tasty. Man alive. You've done well, my man. This bri pie is absolutely out of the books. But you are the father of the bri pie, as far as I know. I'll give you that, I'll give you that title. I'll take it. The Thanks, father man. of the bri pie. Until next time on Mother Mouse, keep on rocking. <laughs> <laughs>